Let me ask y'all this then. Uh-oh. Right? Not no, no messy. I, right, no, I, so I do, I do, I do, I I do, I do have something messy. Right, I, I, I do have something messy. messy. I do have something messy. Okay. Okay. But we we on serious time right now. All right. Okay. Y'all are in a great position, right? Like mm-hmm. I think you said it. Y'all don't really have pressure. Like y'all don't care if, even if y'all do, y'all don't care about the pressure that y'all have, may have, may not have yeah. about dropping the hit or whatever. Y'all really having fun, y'all doing what y'all want. Yeah. Where does like cause sometimes some people would say the great moments or the great music come from having that chip on your shoulder, mm-hmm. right? How do you differentiate the two? How do you get gr- great music without having like a chip on your shoulder or feeling like you got to prove something to the world? Because usually that's when you create the best things. Um, we created. I'm Max Bree because you yeah, talk like, all interview. <laughs> no, she was about to say right. Don't do her like that. That's a good. That's a good. That's a good. Right. You just said. She said. Okay. Okay. You know what? Because she made the lead. I ain't gonna say nothing. We were gonna no. Don't do it. See, that's what she gonna do. Don't do me like that. Don't do me like that. We need her to talk. You did it right, and we was gonna piggyback off of it. So that's what. No, no piggyback. You cut it off. You lead it. You lead it. Okay. Well, I will lead it. Um, okay but no um when it comes to us creatively or like just how we be in the studio it'd be very like real like Mm. and even those vibes in itself I feel like through music what you relate to the most are the records that come from a real situation Mm -hmm. or real thing so like us collectively and then with some great writers also shout out to Libby like us growing up with Libby and stuff like that and able to express ourselves in ways and like how to write with the pen and stuff like there we would know that we would hear stuff and play it back and be like, oh, wow, this is a hit. Or like, mm. see how it made us feel in the studio and how like we would feel when we perform on stage or like how the fans would feel about it or our supporters and everybody. We would be like, oh, this one is it. Like, it would just come off the vibes, like totally, like it would be us expressing ourselves. But like she was saying, like, it's true that we all are individually creatives. And then when we come together, it's just like a combustion because of how we came together. I know you say it's like, sounds so- No, nah, it's like, fine. We the culture. Stuff, but the, yeah, we the culture, period. Like you can't bring up love teen black <laughs> girlhood, teen black boyhood without bringing up OMG, Not Mom's behavior, Jacob Lattimore, shout out to him, yes. Yonah Shy, Diggy Simmons. It's mm-hmm. a lot of us who y'all was a came part up with that. Betty. But yeah, but we we are a part yep. of a time, and you can't mm-hmm. bring up certain things without bringing us up. At the OMG. end of the day, all of the when we first dyed our hair. All them colors, like you know, they call us ghetto, ratchet, all this stuff. You get on Instagram, guess what you see? A bunch of colored hair, long hair, 30 inch weeds. We had 30 inch weeds at 16, 17 years old. Mm-hmm. I like this, bitch. I like I, this. Mm-hmm. No, I like but we, this. But we have to no, talk but that's, about but it because I feel like, you know, our contribution to black girlhood and black womanhood, it gets downplayed a lot because people be like, oh, y'all didn't have no number one single. Y'all didn't have no album. And those things are true. We didn't. But at the end of the day, it's like, what we did for the culture, it, it just, it can't be taken away. We not saying nice we right. invented color hair. We not saying we was the first black girls to wear color hair. Let me but write. we popularized it. Mm-hmm. Are you okay? Because you look like a hater right now. Oh, oh no, 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 no. I ain't like that. I ain't no, like no, that. No, no, no. I, I used to talk to somebody back there. Oh, I'm, I'm just saying because you just did me I'm dirty. I'm just saying because I know you about to come with some shit. No, like, I was about to be on y'all's <laughs> side, bro. Oh, he did that. Bro, oh, I was, did that. I'm oh, on y'all's side. Then. What I he will say. Here. What I, nah, nah, no cap. I'm, so I'm going to be on y'all's side. Nah, okay, I'm with you. Okay. When it comes to culture and cultivating things, number one don't mean sh-. Let me tell you why. So, for example, like me, like I, like, I, I don't even talk like this often. But I'm just relating mm-hmm. to you. Because mm-hmm. it's y'all interview. You try to pop your shit like baby. Right, yeah. That was <laughs> a little bit. A little bit. A little bit. Nah, this ain't my interview. It's y'all interview. But like, so <laughs> I come from Baltimore, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. But I know for a fact, my I, I have a fingerprint on podcasting, especially in my community, right? Sure, in the okay. DMV, mm-hmm. period. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't need a number one podcast to know that. Yeah. Come on now. Right? Okay. Like, so, Hello? like, and, and I say, let's say, for example, let's paint it, like, let's talk about stars, like Joe Button, right? If you look at Joe Button and you look at um, Joe Rogan or even like, let's say, black academics, right? Mm-hmm. Academics has academics, Adam 22. They both have more subscribers than Joe Button. Yeah. But everybody know in a black community, Joe Button yeah. put a stamp on this. He really. Yeah. So sometimes, right, in this industry, sometimes you might not seem like the biggest. You might got to go through more lawsuits. Like you might got to go through more dirt. Mm hmm. For other people to shine more, exactly. so just because you didn't have a number one, don't mean that don't take away from who you are. Absolutely, because you had to go. Like think about it, artists back in the day, they they wasn't making nearly, not even half as what artists are making now. Right, right. but they had to come first. Mm-hmm. They they set the tone for the yeah. artists to come.